I'm Jane Maestresa, and I'm the one who's going to present the motivational exercise. We prepare a game. It is a type of word puzzle, also known as four peak one word. The mechanics of this game is, number one, read the instructions before starting the game, and don't cheat. Four picks one word gameplay is simple, no need to cheat. Number two, each level displays four pictures linked by one word. Number three, the player aims to work out what the word is from a set of letters given below the pictures. Number four, once the timer is up, write your answer in a piece of paper. Number five, the goal is to list the right word that represent or link the four pictures. Number six, the answer will be announced after the presentations of the video. Number seven, plus points in the quiz when you get the right answer. Number eight, the game is simple, right? I hope you get all the answer right. Are you ready? So we are going to start the game. Round one for the easy. Easy, right? Now the round two, the average. Introduction of content, the women's movement is made up of women and men who work and fight to achieve gender equality and to improve the lives of women as a feminism and as a social group. Women's movement, a diverse social movement, largely based in the U.S., seeking equal rights and opportunities for women in their economic activities, personal lives, and politics. It is recognized as the second wave of the larger feminist movement. It is such an issue as are women's liberation, reproductive rights, domestic violence, and women's suffrage, and etc. This is all about the Western Women's Movement. At the end of this chapter, the student should be able to number one, outline and development of Western feminism, number two, explain the factors that shape into its development, number three, understand important key concepts of the feminist. Where does the liberation begin? The region of women's oppression seems flat removed from our realities. When speaking of women's history, the Western Women's Movement may come to mind. Why? This movement exposed the structural inequality faced by women in particular eras. More importantly, this movement identified women as oppressed group. While this movement is distinct from the Philippines women's movement, it is nonetheless part of a larger story that shaped the global, global agenda today. So in 1967, the first women's liberation organizations formed in major cities like Boston, Chicago, New York City, and Toronto. Structural inequality exists where poor children must attend public schools while rich children can attend private school. Example, during 1950s, many girls guided toward home economics rather than math while school segregation was allowed by federation law. Much of the students' understanding of gender justice influenced by social media posts of popular culture. Most of the social media websites, however, may have misconception about the true meaning of feminism and gender equality. While there are social justice warriors who write various issues, including women's issues in social media platforms, their lack of knowledge on the history of women's movement and the women's struggle makes for a weak call to social change. Without knowing the historicity of an issue, one will not understand its root and cannot address in a holistic manner. So, it is it is not all about what you see is what you get in the social media. Merong mga posts in the social media na hindi legit. And we need um some uh, mga legit na posts and para, para malaman natin na yung isang yung isang post about feminism or gender equality is totoo. Meron kasing mga tao ngayon na binabase lang yung um, feminism or gender equality sa mga social media posts like yung pagbabody shame, doon nila binabase yung gender equality. It is not all about na pagandahan yung post sa social media or pag nagpapakita ka ng mga um, revealing na revealing about your body is you gain popularity para matawag ka nag ganito ganyan para good yung image mo. It is not all about that. So next is what is feminism? Feminism is a way of looking at the world through a women's perspective. The previous chapter explained that a woman's perspective is socially constructed and based on how the society view femininity, femininity or womanhood as a whole. The patriarchal of society has driven feminism to concern itself and end of liberating women through gender equality. Feminism is a concept popularized, popular, popularized by Western society with many feminist issues articulated by Western educated women and even men. 
it is deeply rooted in the Western concept of liberal democracy and philosophy of equal rights for all as defined by thinkers such as Kant and Mills. The evolution of Western women's movement in the recent history can be summarized into three ways, each wave characterized by particular aspects of the struggle toward the emancipation. So, in short, feminism is an anticipate, uh, an interdisciplinary approach to issues of equality and inequality based on gender and gender sexuality. Example, feminism has provided Western women with increased educational opportunities, the right to vote, um, protection against workplace discrimination, and the right to make personal decision about pregnancy. Western Women's Movement and its a brief history. So discussing Western Women's Movement involves looking at what feminist historians and theorists call as waves of feminism. Like any wave, there is a rise in the movement, its apex being the height of the issues surrounding the movement at a given time. Like a wave, there is also a decline in the involvement after the issue was resolved of if another more urgent issue arose. There are three distinct waves of feminism in the Western world, each associated to a different school of tough. The first wave of feminism involves the call for women's equal rights. Focus, focusing on the women's right to vote, it is largely rooted in the liberal political which prioritize the power of the reason and the mind. Throughout most of the Western history, women were confined to the domestic sphere, while public life was reserved for men. In the medieval Europe, women denied the right to own property, to study, or to participate in public life. Like, um, bawal yung mga babae na, na mag-vote or um, mag-run ng politics. Kaya, in the first wave of feminism, the women's equal rights, um, nagpo-focus sa mga babae na pinaprioritize nila na yung mga babae is pwede nang mag-run into politics, mag-decision into in their own mind, and to empower um, women about um, political Next wave is known as radical feminism, a post-World War II era of feminism when women were already recognized as having distinct biological needs from men, such as for reproductive health and needs that arose from their being socialized as women. The last wave of feminism is rooted in the recognition of various theories and various modes of being. To be truly free from patriarchy, the recognition of intersectionality consider women's struggle from different parts of the globe such as that the black or latin women to be distinct struggles that are different from women's struggle in the western in the western world. The feminist tough helped shape our own local feminist thinking the Philippine women movement while well, the discussion of the waves of feminism ends in 1990s. It does mean that never waves do not exist. This chapter will include with a discussion in the direction of women's movement. So, yung intersectionality, the gra recognize siya ng identity markers, example, women and black do not exist independently of each other and that each inform the other often creating a complex convergence of oppression. So, next is the first wave of feminism, the women and civil rights. Theoretical roots of the first wave of feminism or the liberal feminism. The first wave of women's movement is characterized by the women's struggle for equality. The phase which occurred from the latter part of the 18th century until 20th century was the period when women of, with the women articulated their equality with men, the development of liberal political true by philosophers like Kant, Neil and Rouse Chu, unders underscoring equal rights of all men but not women, inspired women to craft their own philosophy of equality with men. After all, men were created equal with equal inherent rights. Then all women are created equal to men with inherent rights as well. Olympia de Gogers was a French feminist, writer, and political activist who believed strongly in justice and equality for all. She responded to national assemblies declarations by publishing in 1971 her own declarations of the rights of women of the female citizen. She included women's rights in her manifesto, defending the rights of women as sentient human beings. Her progressive thinking also leads her to write against slavery, the discriminations against children born out of wedlock, and the ill-treatment of orphanage children. The manifesto of the Goggers inspired what can be considered the case on text of liberal feminist thought, Mary Paul Stonecraft, considered the mother of Western and Anglo-Saxon feminism. Wolfstonecraft advocated for uplifting of women's rights through the valuations of their work within the family. Her works highlights the need for women's education and that women are not merely objects to marry though, but are also educators and caregivers of their children. The idea that a woman is a property of her husband may explain the strong connection between women's liberation movement and the anti-slavery movement in the Western world. The beginning women's movement drew its sparks from emancipation's movement. 
Women had no political voice in this matter during the 1840 World Anti-Slavery Convention in London. Women delegates were even made to listen to proceeding behind curtains. Two prominent figure American women's movement who attended the conventions, Lucretia Mott and Elizabeth Candy Stanton, were moved by this insulting experience. Women were in domestic sphere meant that every day women were invisible to the public eye. Those coming from prominent mercantile or royal families, while visible, were not often given the chance to influence big decisions. These realities pushed women from Western Europe and Northern America to expand their struggle towards their own emancipations. Participants in the first wave of the women's emancipation movement fought for the rights to vote, equal opportunity for employment and commerce and the rights to education. The struggle for equality was most apparent in the campaign for the rights to vote. But it was accompanied by struggles for women's education. In rich school for basic education up to medical schools were set up for women. Equality at work, the establishing of women's unions, the freedom of expression in the various literary and artistic genres. Women fought for equal access to various opportunities as formalized in declarations of sentiments that emerged from Seneca Falls Convention from the first Women's Rights Convention in New York City in 1848. Stanton enumerated in these declarations various women issues that eventually lead to what would be known as the suffrage movement. A woman's right to vote may not seem like a large issue, yet it was controversial in so far as it was believed that women were too emotional and did not possess the proper faculties to make rational decisions. Simeon de Beauvoir, a French feminist best known for the work The Second Sex, explored how women were not seen as equal by men and that very realizations of women's existence as a person was structured to be inferior. Sugar Meat Firestown and Kate Manette show how this construction was an outcome of the economy, the culture, and the society at large. The fact that this nation of womanhood was created to be such means that the expectations surrounding women could change as well. Firestone believed that society must change to help address women's concerns the limitation of biology, specifically child care. Theatrical roots in the second wave of feminism, socialist feminism. Socialist feminism was developed after Macri's feminism to address gaps found in Macri's theories. Unlike Macri's feminists, socialist feminists believe that women are oppressed in all aspects. Socialist feminism draws a different meaning from the Macri's idea of human productivity. Once productive activity is based on the sexual division of labor with is determined by society and human nature. Theatrical roots in the second wave of feminism, radical feminism. The civil rights movement in the U.S. inspired another form of feminism that is grounded on structural change. This feminist perspective, known as radical feminism, sought to ensure that women's differences from men were recognized and celebrated. At this point, equality no longer meant sameness but being different and equally capable and viable. Patriarchy as the root of inequality. Many second wave feminists focus on analyzing the structural roots of inequality in society. This generation of feminists believe that women were forced into roles not because of their natural inclination, but because patriarchal systems conditioned them to adopt certain rules. Patriarchy, as the radical feminists describe, was maintained through the control of the public sphere by men. Perhaps, this belief came about as a result of in industrialization and the separation of productive and reproductive work, or the association of women with the child care. The call for affirmative action. The second wave of the women's movement focused on redefining the meaning of woman in society by restoring the struggle of genuine gender equality. Inequality was addressed during this time through various efforts, one of which was affirmative action. Affirmative action meant as a deliberate preferential option for women in order to have an equal opportunity in a certain field. This move was based on the need to counter years of what many consider for that preferential option for the male gender in productive work. Before this time, women were mostly accepted in work that related to care for of others. The usual reason was essentially women are naturally. Other feminism during the second wave. The second wave of feminism began to spread its influence worldwide, although it was criticized for focusing too much on the interests of Western women. Second wave feminism was also marked by the division between women from the first world and women from developing countries. Women from the developing world felt their specific concerns ignored, such as their exploitation by the West, which benefited even women from the developed countries. The third wave of feminism. The 1990s brought about the recognitions of the different oppressions women face around the globe. The rise of communism and the new global order along the way of medical and technological advances shaped the issues of this era. 
The feminist movement shifted focus include the needs of the women from developing countries in the light and the effect of globalization in neoliberal economic policies. The idea of the universal woman experience was challenged and, and there was a call for a feminist that embraced the plurality of women's experience. The idea of post-feminism manifested during the third wave of feminists in which the second wave was assessed for purporting the universal feminists that created one truth for all women. With one dominant group, the white, the Western feminists, according the answer for all issues and directing the movement's concerns to target to the book by Leslie Haywood and Jennifer Drake. Third word, agenda. Post-feminism sought to critic previous feminisms with regard to what work had yet to be done. Despite the difference in the experience of women, the call for sisterhood was present as were embracing the difference of women from the, uh, around the world. This movement that questions renamed and reclaimed the concept of womanhood was called postmodern feminism. One of the many keywords that explains Judith Butler philosophy is performance. Gender is performed and one's identity is shaped through the performance of traits that are gendered. The performance of gender further proved that it was a social contract that should not limit a person's identity. Summing up the Western feminist movement. A brief history of the Western feminist movement is presented to show the various strides that women have made in recent history. Various skills of feminists with different viewpoints and priorities emerged depending on the needs of women at the time. These movements were created as the reaction to historical events and struggles, such as civil rights movement. Despite of the rich diversity of the ISTS and the ISMS of feminism shows that one thing has been to participate in society as equal with others in removing structural barriers that prevent them from doing. While much work has yet priority of the movement to be done, it is important to recognize the, her the heroes of the past for what uplifting women such as they seek and fully they have achieved a privileged this generation better future. Personal insight reflections of topic. When we accomplish our PowerPoint, we gain a new information especially about the subject of feminism. I discovered that feminism is a perspective on the world that viewpoints of women. It is the nation that Western society has also helped to spread with many feminist issues being experienced by Western educated women and even men. The most important details are the membership in the particular generations. Generation and alcohol can affect an individual outlook and issues related to gender, and that people who were born and grow up in a different time periods may have different experience and exposure to cultural norms values, and belief about general rules. Additionally, the gender similarities hypothesis suggests that even small gender differences can lead to larger differences later in life. Plus, gender and religions can all affect the individual outlook and attitudes toward generate general related issues. For example, class background can influence their access to educational and opportunities. Gender identity can affect how they experience and perceive issues related to gender and religion can influence their belief about general expectations. It is important to recognize that these factors can intersect and overlap and that individual experience and outlook may be influenced by the complex interplay of these and other factors. And for the summary, the Western women's movement exposed the structural inequalities faced by women in particular eras and this part of a larger story that has shaped the global agenda today. There are three distinct waves of feminism in the Western world. The first wave of feminism is liberal feminism. The second wave of feminism is socialist feminism and the third wave of feminism. Socialist feminism was developed to address gaps in Marxist theory, while radical feminism identified biology as the root cause of the oppression of women. Third wave feminism was motivated by the need to develop a feminist theory and politics that honor contradictory experiences and discontra categorical thinking. The Western feminist movement has been created to empower women to participate in society as equal with others and to recognize the heroes of the past for their work in uplifting women. And for the guide questions, we have five guide questions. For the first question, we have what is feminism? Number two, state the three waves of Western feminism and identify the distinct features of each wave. Number three, what are the political or philosophical factors that shape each of the waves of feminism? And number four, what is intersectionality and how it is relevant to the Philippines feminist movement? And the last question is what is postmodern feminism?